day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange, British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Now, I was given a box of records today, I nearly turned it down, but there's actually some real gems amongst it, apart from the three sets of South Pacific, but we won't go into that. Anyway, here we go with one of them, Decca Record, F1526, Humorous Crosstalk, You Surprise Me, by Stainless Stephen and Amos P. Herrick, Herricks. Yes, there's the original sleeve with factory sample written on it. Right. Here we go. Hope you enjoy this one. Hey, Seamus, was that you singing on the other side of this record? Rather. Did I surprise you? I'm a finished baritone. Yeah, you finished some years back. Anyway, I'm going to have my voice trained in Italy. What do you think of that? It's not far enough. But say, baby, why do you look so disconsolate? I borrowed my boss's motor car for a weekend trip. Why worry? Does he know you used his automobile? Does he know? I've run over him. That doesn't surprise me. This country is so small, I calculate it's difficult not to run into something or other. Let me tell you, Atmos, this little island has the greatest history in the world. Maybe it has a great history, but it's not much geography. Everything's on too small a scale. Look at your traffic congestion. That's true. A friend of mine motoring home from the city the other evening got in a traffic jam. What happened? He had to phone his office. Shan't be with you tomorrow. Haven't got home yesterday yet. If your ground space is so limited, why don't your architects build higher? Oh, they must have other plans. Look, Dial. Say, our latest New York hotel has so many stories. If a man stands on the roof at night, he has to lie down to let the moon pass. Is that the place where they have 400 men to mix the mustard? Even on our small farms, if a farmer takes a walk round his backyard, he doesn't return till his next birthday. You surprise me. Now my uncle in Canada has something like a farm. He sends out newly married couples to milk the cows so that their grandchildren can bring back the milk. Yes, your country has never produced such a wonderful inventor as Thomas A. Edison. Nonsense. With thousands of married Britons, greater inventors than he was. I can't believe that. You would, if you heard the excuses they offer the wives for staying out late at night. Let's change the subject. Do you play golf? Well, I had a game last Sunday. Don't you consider it wrong to play golf on the Sabbath? The way I play, it's wrong any day. How many do you go round in? There aren't as many. You surprise me. Why not take up fishing? It's not exciting. Not exciting? Gee, only last fall I was fishing for salmon in Alaska where I hooked a regular monster. It pulled so hard that North America was moved two degrees longitude west. Oh, it must have been nearly as big as that tiger I shot in the new forest. Pardon me, brainless. Surely, there ain't no tigers in those parts. Not since I've been there. Anyway, this figure was so big, the tip of its nose was entering Piccadilly, just as its tail was leaving Portsmouth. Brother, you more than surprise me. I just can't swallow that tail. All right. Let's meet each other halfway. You take a bit of your salmon, and I'll see what I can do with my tiger. Oh dear. Was that worth it? Mm, possibly. Hopefully you enjoyed it, viewers, and goodbye.